Niger Republic's uh, coalition of civil liberty organizations is condemning ECOWAS sanctions, accusing the president of double standards and interference in Nigerian democracy. Well, the coalition therefore called for the United Nations and the European Union's diplomatic intervention. The coalition questions Tinubu's focus on Niger, appealing for support from 19 northern Nigerian states and emphasizing historical ties between Niger and Kano. They called on Kano State to address the humanitarian crisis in Niger and seek divine intervention for the military junta amid ECOWAS's lead sanctions. Well, Idi Yakubu is a member of the Coalition of Civil Liberty Organizations in Niger Republic, and he joins us now to discuss efforts to lift the sanctions placed on Niger Republic by Nigeria and ECOWAS as well, as why those sanctions should be lifted. Thank you so much for joining us today on Newsday, uh, Mr. Yakubu. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So we know what's happening in Niger and uh, reading the intro, the question is, why is it so important to uh, lift the sanctions for Niger at this time? Uh, good afternoon. Uh, as you said earlier, the coalition in Niger has uh, made uh, various uh, calls for the lifting of sanctions, the sanction imposed on Niger by ECOWAS and uh, particularly the government of Nigeria. Uh, after the coup, as you can see, people of Niger uh, in general have come out to praise the uh, ongoing, uh, the, the, actually the present uh, government after uh, going through so many uh, challenges. So many challenges in the sense that uh, uh, the last government, they felt uh, I mean, uh, they think has failed to really answer the necessary costing. Uh, or let me say the problems bedeviling Nigerians. So uh, after imposing this uh, uh, sanction, many organizations in Niger, civil societies, uh, even former political parties, uh, student associations, traditional rulers, and what have you, have asked for a dialogue to be called open for the military, military junta and uh, the ECOWAS to come around a table and uh, try as much as possible to settle this uh, uh, differences. The call for this uh, uh, lifting of uh, the sanction is not only from Niger Republic citizens, uh, even uh, some civil societies in various countries across West Africa and sub-region ECOWAS, particularly in Nigeria, where 19 northern governors come together to call for dialogue. We have seen many traditional rulers who intervened, many civil societies who intervened, even the, uh, 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 let me say, the legislative representatives, uh, various representatives in the National Assembly and the uh, ECOWAS Parliament has come out to call for dialogue for this uh, problem to be solved. Well, you believe ECOWAS should have reconsidered better options, you know, to mutually resolve the military invasion in Niger. But what might these options be, considering the fact that we seem to have a rising wave of coups in the West African region? ECOWAS is simply interested in protecting democracy. How can they do that without these sanctions? You know, uh, 
democracy in West African sub-region uh, is, uh, we experienced democracy for over decades. And uh, it has its own processes. And uh, it also have uh, uh, so many, uh, uh, so many uh, policies behind democracy. So good governance is uh, the key to any dispensation. And as you can see, in most of cases where those schools took place, people were really lifting their voices against uh, the representatives, against the government officials, and the way they handled the affairs of uh, the countries. So democracy, you know, is for the people. And uh, when people come openly and uh, vote for a particular government or a particular leader, they expect that that government is really going to provide, if not uh, nothing but the necessary amenities, peace and uh, economic uh, upliftment. But in most cases, you will see uh, with this uh, problem of uh, uh, governments and uh, other problems bedeviling most of West African countries, especially when it comes to insecurity, people felt that government in various uh, institutions have really uh, failed to answer the calls of those people and uh, uh, come to uh, solving their problems. And what would the coalition be prepared to do, or have they prepared themselves um, in the fact or in the event that the sanctions do not get lifted? And I say that because in the, West, uh, in the Western region, there seems to be quite a few coups that have happened. Uh, ECOWAS is, of course, concerned about this spreading. So to lift one might not uh, be feasible for the others. So in the event that they do not lift the sanctions, what is to become? First, let me uh, uh, put it clear that the coalition have been calling for dialogue between uh, uh, the Junta and the ECOWAS for a very long time. And I believe if there's any problem, ECOWAS itself is an institution. It has its rules and regulations. In the sense that those rules are not respected or those uh, rules fail to be uh, considered, definitely there will be uh, meetings and uh, calling for other people or other institutions or organizations to come in between and see how those uh, two parties will come around a table and uh, solve their differences. Because we believe dialogue is the main ingredient needed for now, both for the junta in Niger and the ECOWAS to come together and solve their differences. The coalition has met many meetings, many calls, both to ECOWAS and Niger Republic. Just of recent, with uh, the outcome of uh, uh, the ECOWAS uh, court uh, in Abuja, which really recognized the coup, but in the other hand is also uh, calling for the Niger uh, junta to uh, free the president. So we believe it will be a good uh, uh, step to be taken if those uh, parties can come together and uh, really solve their differences through dialogue. Because let me tell you, it's not the two parties, it's the people, the people of Niger. Now, if you go, the common man in Niger Republic is really feeling the pains, severe pains, really coming out of these sanctions. Because Niger, and Nigeria, we are about, uh, we have uh, 
how many, let me say, uh, more than seven states uh, 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 having their borders with Niger. And we have the economic activities taking place around those borders from Niger to Nigeria, vice versa, even from other countries uh, within the West African uh, sub-region, Mali, Burkina Faso, Senegal, and uh, what have you. If these sanctions continue, definitely the people will bear the consequences. And it's considering these uh, problems that the people are facing that we call on the government of Nigeria in general, the, I mean in particular, and the, in general, the ECOWAS to consider the dialogue with the military junta so that this problem can be solved. Well, very well said. Idi Yakubu, member coalition of Civil Liberty Organization in Niger Republic, thank you so much for joining us on Newsday.